Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer sent from Johan from Sweden. Thank you very much Johan. Been excited for this one because I like the first bottle very much. It was a new style to me. It was a Belgium Sour Ale from the Cantillon Brewery. This one, check out the cap, lovely cap there. Got the classic cork from the Cantillon Brewery. This is the Cantillon Creek 100% Lambic Bio. There you are, just focus there. Check that out. Without further ado, let's get this beer open. Oh. As I did that, I remembered the BB Barflight just struggled with that last time as well. Uh, so there's the cap. I'm going to attempt to get this open. Excuse me, right, I'm going to do that now up high because I like to, it's a visual thing, you're watching because it's a visual thing. Um, it's not because you want to read anything or, or find out how to get a cap off or, or a cork out of a beer. You want to see me struggling, don't you? Um, I'm just going to put it over here then and do the rest. Right, okay. Ooh, wow, what a pop on there, look at the smoke. Glass, could it was glass. Okay, I have got a glass, just left it out of the picture there. Um, using a nice flute type glass. Let's get this beer. Oh, look at the colour. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that. Oh, this is one for Mrs. Real Ale Guide, I'm absolutely sure. Or maybe even Mrs. Real Ale in 140. Look at the colour. Wow, okay, now then, I am very much looking forward to this. The head dissipated very, very quickly. There's, a pl there's plenty of carbonation there streaming to the top of the glass. If it wants to focus. I don't know if you can catch that. Yeah, there you go. There's plenty of carbonation there streaming away. Let's get the nose. Again, it smells like um, like a champagne cider. Oh, I'm getting really nice apples mi mixed with like a musty cherry. I've got to get into this. This smells absolutely wonderful. Colour is a wonderful, wonderful cherry, cherry like raspberry aid looking beer. Tins of orange in there. I'm going in. Cheers. Ooh, what a lovely oh. Oh. And just as I was about to speak, the, the flavour was still maturing in my mouth. And, and right at the end, it's very, it's a very dry feeling I'm getting on my mouth right now. It's extremely dry. I'm not sure if that's the water content or the yeast. Um, whew. Really, most definitely the cherry is still, as I'm talking, I'm breathing cherry. To begin with, it is such a lovely, wonderful, sour, bitter taste. <coughs> I'm going again. Oh, yeah. Well, that is, that is very, very... I'm going to explain this as just... Totally luxurious. This is a totally luxurious beer. Never tasted anything quite like this in my life. Um, I don't think you can ever see it all in beer. 
you can never quite see it all. There's always going to be a beer out there, even if you've been reviewing beer for 40 years, there's always going to be a beer out there that comes along and totally surprises you and changes your whole thought on beer, your whole thought process. Um, this is one of them beers, it's, it's another new style for me, it's a Cherry Lambic Creek Bio. Oh, it's, it's wonderful, but what I'm trying to say is that as a beer reviewer, you have to stay humble. I think, I think Johan knows where I'm coming from here. Um, you have to stay humble. You, you can't review beer and be, yeah, I've done it all, I've said it all. Because it just becomes boring. You, 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 I'm sure Michael Jackson, the great late Michael Jackson, will, 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 if he was still alive today, agree with me that he will always get a beer every now and again that just comes along and he's totally different from whatever he's tasted. And he's prob he probably did review beer for 30, 40 years. So um, this is one of these beers which is brand new to me in the style. I think it's absolutely wonderful. And it's an absolute pleasure that there's people out there viewing my, my videos. People like Johan going, do you know what? I've gone through his back catalogue and he hasn't reviewed this style. Or he hasn't reviewed that style. And they're willing to send and it's just wonderful. Or, or they're willing to give a suggestion. Please try this or please try that. Because without you people out there, because I don't live in Sweden, I don't live in Belgium, I don't have access to, to these weird and wonderful beers. But it's the suggestions, it's the kindness of people who, who send to the channel, to the show, which gives me a chance to then share it with you, the viewing public. And it's a wonderful thing, it's a reviewing beer like, like this. And even... Even reviewing some people call boring brown ale, you have to do that. You can't carry, you can't go out and always want to review the best of the best of the best of the best because people will not take you seriously as a reviewer. You have to go out, try new styles by all means, but you have to again drop back on something which is a, a normal brown beer you have to review them people just will not take you seriously um i'm going way off the 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 scale of reviewing this beer so i'm going to drop back on this give it a rating it's extremely dry it's extremely bitter it's extremely sour there's a fantastic note of cherry it reminds me of a combination of cider and champagne. Would I drink it again? Yes, I certainly would. Where would I drink this beer? I would like to crack this open with my friends and family and say, here, try this. It's wonderful. Give it a go. Thank you again so much to Johan who sent these beers. I've still got a few of them. There's some um, Rochefort 6-8. There to review this. There's, there's a, another. There's a boy barley wine. And there's the the end there. Can't quite remember the brewery's name. But thank you very much. I'm gonna give this a nine. I really enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like. Put all your comments. Pardon me. That's the beer. It's not me. It's the beer. <laughs> Put all your comments in the comments box. And cheers.